Good morning, Midland, Texas. It's uh, about 7.25 in the morning on March 8th, and I want to show you something. I'm coming down my hallway right now, and of course, showing off pictures of the family here, right? And uh, But that's not why I'm here. What I want to show you here is my bedroom, okay? And, and you can see there, that's where I sleep, right? There's my computer, okay? And, uh, and then, of course, I have my security camera here, and this is one thing I want to show you here, I think it's kind of important. This morning I noticed we got a 18 wheeler right there, do you see it? See the time stamp on it? And uh, what we're going to do is parked right outside my window, my bedroom window right now. What we're going to do, we're going to back this off and we're going to see how long they've been there. Speed that up, 64x. Now we're running backwards in time. See it's whatever 715 now going backwards this is a, and and you see that orange door that is the unloading door that is the uh, Home Depot unloading door that's a secluded truck unloading lane that I've seen so much suspicious trucker activity and of course they have uh, regular unloading back there too because you know they have freight coming in for the store it's the it's the ones that come in and spend the night or or they show up and they don't unload freight and uh and all this okay i think we skipped it there i think i missed it there we go do you see it okay let's back it up okay that's a forklift you can see the forklift out there at 546 Okay, I got the talking. Yeah, forklift running, forklift running, and and right now the Home Depot door is open. Okay, six twelve, six thirty, boom, truck shows up, Home Depot door shuts, forklift goes away, and it's at six forty. So six thirty is when this truck shows up, and that's when all the unloading stops. Now let me pan around, and here's my window. And, and that's really important because it's right out the back of my window. I'm laying in bed and I look out there. And, and I'm going to get a little closer up here. And you're going to see that truck and their windows. It's their little sleeper cab windows pointed right at my bedroom window. See, they, they're looking in at me right now. And they're probably sitting watching me film right now as we speak. I'm going to go ahead and step outside, out back. Okay. And we're not saying that this truck in particular, you know, is doing anything illegal, even though they, they could be, you know. I had two people at that store tell me about prostitution going on behind their store. I saw a little girl at the sleeper cab of an 18-wheeler, suspected child sex trafficking. Uh, I reported a suspected tunnel at my house in January 2012 to the El Paso DEA and then the Midland DEA, who never looked. And then I was shot inside my home two weeks later. And then a group of still secret police were caught on camera uh, sneaking in, stealing evidence, and staging the crime scene of that murder attempt. I have a $2,000 reward to anybody that can identify them. So this is the real deal, and I think it's connected to that secluded truck and loading lane. But uh, imagine opening your windows and you're looking in the window of a truck. That's what I do, but I close the windows back. Hey, that's what's going on in Midland, Texas. March 8th, this buddy. Talk to you later. Bye.